Inflation and its causes. Now that we have understood the term inflation in much more detail, let us take a quick look at the factors that cause inflation. The factors that cause inflation. First, increase in the demand for goods and services. Second, decrease in the supply of goods and services. Inflation arises when both of these factors work together. When demand for goods and services in an economy exceeds supply of the same, inflation arises. Let us understand various factors which cause an increase in demand for goods and services. Increase in public expenditure. Demand for goods and services increases when people have more purchasing power to their disposal. This is achieved when government increases its public expenditure, thereby increasing the purchasing power of the households. Thus, demand for goods and services increase when the purchasing power is transferred to households through public works program. Increase in private expenditure. If the business conditions are favorable, many private business houses and entrepreneurs venture in new business enterprises. This investment leads to rise in the prices of factors of production, like rent, wages, interest, and commodities like fabrics and food grains. Therefore, money income of these factors of production increases, and so does that of expenditure on consumption of goods. This rise gives a push to demand as supply of goods and services cannot be raised overnight. In such a case, excess demand leads to inflation. Increase in consumer spending. The rise in the money income creates the willingness in the minds of consumers to spend more. Easy consumer credit facilities also help these consumers to spend more. Reduction in taxation. If government reduces direct taxes, people need to pay less amount as tax. This offers more disposable income in the hands of the people. This in turn may be used to buy more goods and services for private consumption as well as for capital goods. Repayment of past internal debts. When government repays its past internal debts to the public, it transfers money to the public. This transfer increases the purchasing power in the hands of the people and demand for goods and services as well. Increase in population. It is a fact that more resources are required to satisfy more number of people. If population will increase, the requirement for goods and services will also increase. Increase in exports. Exports create shortage for the goods for home consumption if goods are exported to foreign countries in spite of a high domestic demand. Thus, increase in exports reduces the stock of goods available for domestic consumption, giving rise to inflationary pressure. Deficit financing. Deficit is a condition where you spend more than your earnings. Deficit financing means the financial schemes of governmental expenditure in which deficit is met by utilizing cash balances with the Reserve Bank or by taking loans from Reserve Bank. This leads to increase in the supply of money thereby raises the demand for goods and services from public. 
Let us understand various factors which cause decrease in the supply of goods and services. Industrial disputes. Industrial disputes adversely affect the production of goods. Unsatisfied workers go on a strike if they feel that their employers do not fulfill their demands. At times, employers declare lockout due to various reasons. Either of these conditions halts the production to a great extent, thereby leading to reduction in supply and ultimately price rise. Shortage of factors of production There are several factors of production that contribute in a production process, namely men, machine, material and money. A shortfall in either of them affects the production process, leading to reduction in supply of goods and services. This situation arises when economy operates at full or near full employment level. Natural Calamities Natural calamities like floods, droughts adversely affect the supplies of agricultural products. It affects the industrial production as farmers are unable to supply the raw materials to the industries. Such a shortage raises the cost of production. Hoarding of goods. Traders purposely hoard the essential goods with them and do not sell it in the market to create a situation of artificial scarcity. Also, individual consumers may also hoard essential commodities to avoid higher prices in future. Thus, hoarding of goods by sellers and consumers increases the intensity of demand for these goods, thus resulting in inflationary pressure. To summarize, factors that cause inflation are increase in the demand for goods and services and decrease in the supply of goods and services. The causes for increase in demand for goods and services are The causes for decrease in the supply of goods and services are